Uh, I'm here with Jeremy Wagstaff to learn about how reporters of the future will take their notes. Jeremy, what, what will they do? Hi Tom, yeah, well the reporter of the future will have a pen. A pen? Let me see, hold up the pen. Yeah, this is the pen. Yeah. Okay. And they'll have a moleskin. And they'll have what can only be described as a special moleskin. Okay. It's a moleskin with special paper on it, made by a company called Anoto. Uh, the technology uh, is Anoto. A N A N O T O. Okay. And the actual product is made by a company called Live Scribe. And what happens is this: you take the pen out of the sheath, and then you turn the pen on. Hold it up to the camera. Okay, starting, starting, starting. Okay, it's starting, and then you'll see the time. 2.12 p.m. Which is the time now, as we speak. Even as we speak. Even as we speak, yeah, right. it has been... Uh, and then what happens is you just... Uh, say I, I'm interviewing you, or you're interviewing me, and I would then press on the record icon There's a little here. record icon on the page, yes. Then you'd see the... Um, uh, display change to recording. Okay. And through a microphone here, what I'm saying, what we are saying, is now being recorded. So then I would write down this and I would say, Tom is a most excellent man. Okay. <laughs> Does it know when you're lying? <laughs> it doesn't, unfortunately. The, the, yeah, the version 2.0, I think. That, okay. <laughs> that would be from flashing red for version 2.0. Yeah, the, okay. the mendacity feature. <laughs> And, uh, okay, imagine that this is a, a long conversation, but I, uh, it's now uh, relatively short for the moment. I would just press stop there. Okay. And then you would see a timeline of the, uh, of the 43 second interview in this case. Okay. Now, if I wanted to go back and just check that I had actually said Tom is a most excellent man or the person who had said it when I took the note, all I would need to do would be to place on there and make sure that the sound is on. Sometimes I turn the sound off. Okay, and you so can hear the recording. And so if I turn it here. It will take me to the precise point in the uh, conversation. So I can there, therefore see that the Japanese finance minister really did say that interest rates were going to be negative two uh, for the next while at the central bank. Exactly. What you've got is uh, an audio record, which is mapped into the timeline of the written record. Right. So if you found that somebody was talking quickly, um, or you wanted to get the exact quote, uh, or if you just wanted to put sort of headings for a conversation and then be able to go back to those headings, jumping through using... So in fact, you could take few, many fewer notes. You could just say, look here, and rather than having to go through on one of those old tape recorders or even on a digital recording, skipping along, mm. this would tell you exactly where, where it was. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Um, you can then upload the, uh, the audio recording coupled with the um, imprint of the, of the page to your computer and do exactly the same thing. You can uh, see on the page the digital writing and be able to uh, put your mouse over... So you'll see the, the exact image of what you wrote there. Yeah, exactly. And you can click on that anywhere. So it's sort of like having a searchable handwritten text. Yeah, it will do its best to, uh, to ICR the, the, the text. To, to see what the text to, was written. Text can it read your handwriting? It can't, unfortunately. <laughs> it does a pretty good job of trying, but uh, even I can't read my handwriting, so I can't really blame it for that. But if my handwriting were clearer, then it would do, uh, it would be able to at least, you know, I could do a keyword search, for example. Okay, and some, there's some other annotations on the page here. What do they do? Yeah, there's, uh, there's the arrows up and down. That's right. You, you've got to record, pause, and stop. Yeah. Um, you've got jump. You can jump around the, if it's a long recording, it will jump certain parts of it. Um, you can record, uh, you can bookmark um, points in the conversation while it's still going on, so you can jump back to them. They will appear on here as little, little uh, marks on, on the line. Um, and then you can jump to a specific position, some 100% or right at the beginning, right at the end. Uh, playback speed and the volume of the... Um, of so the all playback. the controls for the pen are on the paper. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and this one would negotiate... Uh, um, actually, I'm not quite sure. That's I think other this features. goes through the menu of the... Uh, oh, okay. Uh, all right. Excellent. And all of this is now available at quality merchandisers near you for... Yeah, it's um, I think between two to three hundred US. Two to three hundred. 
two to three hundred. And, and I've seen them uh, in Singapore, so I'm guessing they're in Hong Kong. Although the company says it's not actually selling in Asia yet. And do we know the price of the books? Well, these books, uh, I think, is about um, this one was two or three for twenty-five sing. So you know, you're looking about uh, maybe sort of five, six US, uh, US. Five or six US a, a book, which is very competitive with moleskins, I have to say. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not bad. I mean. You're paying, you've got to remember, you're paying for this sort of special paper. And so people kind of grumble about the, the cost of paper for these kind of products. But, but actually, it's not just paper, it's a kind of a visual map. Right. Okay. Mm. Excellent. I'm, I'm quite excited about this product, actually. I think they've done a pretty good job. Uh, it could be improved. One day the, uh, the pens will be smaller, but they have to build in this uh, infrared camera here in order to be able to read uh, the almost vi invisible map on, on the page so that it knows where you are pointing to or where you're writing. And that kind of inhibits the, the, the size rather. But um, I, I've seen a lot of this kind of pen-based technology and I think this is the most interesting kind of marriage between two different things, between audio and writing. Okay, well I have one product suggestion for Anoto if you are watching. Okay. Uh, which is that you could go, since you have to have that large fat pen size, you could do a, a, a co-branded with Mont Blanc mm. and make a virtue of the fact that the uh, Pen is so big. That's a great, great idea. Yeah. So I w I'm waiting for the uh, Mont Blanc uh, Anoto mashup. Thank you very much, Jeremy. <laughs>